I want you in the back room. Oh, Monsieur René, what about your wife? <laughs> this is a matter of utmost urgency. But with you, it is always a matter of utmost urgency. <laughs> we shall be doing this for France. No, you are the one who does it for France. I'm just a waitress. Do as you are told. Give it, Eddie, in the back room. Michel, this is my wife, Edith. I have told her everything. Will she talk? Incessantly. <laughs> but, uh, not about anything important. Uh, this is Yvette and this is Maria. Are they with us? Do they understand the need for secrecy? They will give nothing away, especially this one. <laughs> right. Listen very carefully. I shall say this only once. The forger, Monsieur Leclerc, will arrive tomorrow. You will pass him off as a cousin who has come to help you in the restaurant. He will need papers. He is a forger. He will make his own papers. <laughs> of course. How quickly I have lost the thread of this tapestry of intrigue. <laughs> Two British airmen are in a farmhouse 20 miles from here. They will arrive in four days disguised as onion sellers. But onions are not in season. <laughs> that is how you will know they are the airmen. <laughs> You will conceal them until Monsieur Leclerc has prepared the papers. Now, did my men come to fix a radio transmitter? Yes, they have put it in the attic room. It is the room of my mother. It is the only place where nobody goes unless they have to. <laughs> but I wish to speak with you about that. It is not very convenient. Well, show me. Follow me. One moment. Is your wife's mother prepared to die for France? She's been prepared to die for 30 years. <laughs> but she doesn't go. I think God does not want the aggravation. <laughs> Visitors, Mama. What is it? Uh, Visitors to see you. I do not want to see anybody. Tell them to... Come back tomorrow. They can't. It's the resistance. I do not need any assistance. <laughs> no, it is the French resistance! You fool! Do you want the old town to hear? Where is the transmitter? You see, you see what I mean? It is not very convenient. Where is the speaker? That is the other problem. <laughs> you see, I cannot make her understand that she must not use this one. She must use the one in the cupboard. You must use this. I do not want to go. No, but when you do, you must use this one. In front of strangers. <laughs> Yvette, have you fixed up the aerial and the earth? I did as I was shown. Your men told us to use the metal bed as the aerial and the water pipes as the earth. But where is the power? Maria, switch on the power. <laughs> 